Oh. It is four degrees above freezing. My God, it's so freaking cold. I don't know why I do this. This is horrible. Why am I a crazy person? I should just be going home in bed. God damn it. Welcome to Fabled Hunters. I'm Yanji. I'm Saint. And today we're gonna open some stuff. That's right, we're gonna open some stuff. We're gonna continue, because our set is still heavy hitters. We got some HVY in the house, and um, yeah, still very happy with this set. As of uh, late February, the prices seem to be stable. Uh, I seem to be, hopefully, hopefully right now, it feels like I'm pretty on point with um, the call that the legendaries are still very valuable, very in demand. Yep. Right? So I hope that that uh, is sustained for another month or two, month and a half, I think. That's when we'll cash in on my call about uh, this set holding up better than the values of Uprising. So mm -hmm. remains to be seen. Remains to be seen. So we got a case, we got two Japanese boxes. I'll we'll go one at a time. That's so funny. I think Yangji, yep. uh, our mutual friend who loves Japanese prints. Yep, and a fabled runaway. He messaged me as soon as our first heavy hitters opening went live. Mm -hmm. He's like, Saint has the connection <laughs> with the Japanese print boxes. Oh, really? Because all the other boxes that you get in North America are just Belgian print. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't have a connection. These are from Rudy. Yeah, that's what I said. But uh, it is, I think, yeah, I, I think in, in North America, mm -hmm. At least, it's kind of hard to get Japanese print boxes. Oh, I guess Rudy uh, presumably got them from uh, PhD. Yeah. And uh, here we are, we got box, box one. Yeah. Might or might not have a little bit of spice if you uh, stay tuned for the rest of the episode. Yeah, there's, uh, there's gonna be a, a winner. Oh yes, that's right. We're gonna compete. And then maybe two losers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Don't be like that, Yanji. Come on, man. Maybe there'll be two winners. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> All right. Left Twix, right Twix. You, you, uh, you... I'll take the right Twix. Okay. So we're, we're going for top card, right? Yeah, top card. Okay. Top card takes it. You go first. Okay. <laughs> How are we sorting these? Well, the commons all go to the unimportant part. And the good stuff goes in the middle. And the rares, you, you choose the rare pile. And we got two rares. Oh, yep. We got a foil common. Foil common. That's it. And that's it. Okay. Two rares and a foil common. I will get these rares, commons, something like that. All right. Something like that. Common piles. Prized Galia. Oh, that's the uh, Olympia gear. Oh, two rares, Clash of Viger. And Agile Windup. Okay, and that was it. Uh, just in case, although this is HVY, sleeves semi-rigids, even big semi-rigids, if, if, God forbid, we pull any value. Oops. All right, our first rare is Hot Streak. Hot Streak. Reinforce the line. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, show no mercy. Foil. Foil Majestic. Majestic. That, okay, that's a Yanji hit. That is probably leading right now. Not probably, that is leading right now. Yeah. By how much, I don't know. Is that is that a in-demand card? It's a Reinar mm. specialization. I, it's tough. Uh, I, it's a very powerful card. Yep. I think it's better than Alpha Rampage. Okay. Is it super in-demand? I can't, I can't say it's one of the best Majestics, but okay. it's pretty good. Over the top, enforce the line. Bonebreaker Bellow does not beat Show No Mercy, so Yanji is definitely leading. I think as of right now, we need a better... Either we want to need one of the top three non-foil Majestics, or we need um, some pretty uh, a pretty nice cold foil. Is that is that about right? Yeah, I think that makes sense. Okay. Test the agility. Rare. rare. Okay. Ooh, nasty nasty su surprise. Is that valuable or mm. not really? Not really? So it, there, there's some nice applications of it. Uh-huh. Uh, one thing that gets brought up, so you can play the ninja decks. If someone plays a codex of frailty against you, mm -hmm. you, know, you put an attack in, 
you can discard the nasty surprise mm -hmm. and get all the tokens. Okay. So it's very situational, and because it's so situational, it's so niche, and it's not in meta, it will probably not have long-term value unless discard becomes a major thing, right? Yeah. Which it could be. Discard is a pretty powerful effect. Just a pack call. All right. So far, Yanji is definitely kicking my butt. I think discard in Flesh and Blood is probably more powerful than discard in MTG. Yeah. Really? Because discard, but... discard, you're like saving, you're also like gaining life when you need to make your opponent discard. You know? Okay, but MTG, you only get to draw one card per turn, right? That's true. Oh, oh we oh, got oh. a wow. expansion slot. Right? Real in. Is this any good? Uh, I mean, it's playable on Riptide, but Riptide is not very good right now. Choose up to four traps, reveal them, put them in your hand. That's actually pretty good. You could have a huge hand, right? Yeah. You could set up a large hand. And but, it's Expel and it's blue. Okay, but Riptide sucks, so yeah, still, yeah, show yeah, no mercy yeah, is it, right? The whole deck is traps, so it's also awkward. Oh, yeah? Are traps really that awkward? I thought Riptide well, was all traps. Well, they're all defense reactions, so if your uh, opponent doesn't attack you, then... Oh, that makes sense. So, what do you... Oh, what is that? What is that? Oh, just the Majestic. That's the skin of the game. Damn it! And the count says it, it takes up one of the six Majestic slots, too, I believe. Womp, womp. Womp, womp. Betsy. Gorlock the Destroyer! <laughs> hey, that's what some people are calling that. Uh, yes. What, the, that's what some people are calling them. The Betsies. The Betsy, you know, Betsy Clash Nation. For Clash for Agility. Wage Wage gold. Rare. Ooh, Foil Rare. Foil Rare, nice. And an Olympia. Okay, you got the regular rares. Alright, who's gonna win this? It looks like Yanji, because so far my best pull is a Betsy. I mean, there, there, there's plenty of cards. If we pull the... If we pull Legendary, if we pull Cold Foil. Yep, 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 yep. It's just one card, so it's not the total accumulation. It's just top card. Top card, eight! Bet big. Probably does not beat a Show No Mercy, I would imagine, right? Yeah, I mean, I think you should... I think the the Flesh and Blood Gods are sending you up to be a Betsy player. Right? <laughs> Wind up? Nope. The first stage is, a, is acceptance. Just accept that you're a Betsy player. No, I'm, I'm not a Betsy simp. No way. That but, ain't me. <laughs> Ain't a fan of Betsy. Somebody should make that video of Gorlock the Destroyer. Ooh. Ooh, that is huge. That's probably worth more than Show No Mercy, right? This because uh, it's Dorinthia, it's huge, right? Blade Flurry. I'm hearing this is a I think it's like 20 bucks. Yeah, very in-demand card, very high value card. So we need something that costs more than 20. I think Show No Mercy is worth less than 20. The, the rainbow foil. Yeah, so blade flurry is like this card is is hot. I'm not the only Dorinthia simp out there. I think this card alone makes Dorinthia very very much in contention. Yeah, right? I agree. Very good. Like I, it's just like out of nowhere you get four damage. Like no no conditions. Right? Yeah. I mean sh she has to hit the first time to hit a second time, or she could simply use her other weapon. And she's hatchets. Yep. 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 Hmm. Oh man, you're you're really pulling the crap out of this this box. Ooh, rawhide rumble, send packing. This is a good one as well. Really is strong, it, majestic. Is it as not as? I, good, I'm right? not sure. Okay, we're, we're gonna have to look it up. I would I would assume check the tape. I, I would assume you're you're up with the blade flurry. Yeah. I would assume you're up with the blade flurry and show no mercy. Smash back Ilhorn, and that's it. Alright, we're going through the commons. Fatal engagement. Money where your mouth is. Oh, uh, cold foil parry blade. He's just hitting everything. A rare cold foil. Darn. He really just Yanji's hitting closing, everything. Closing the door. He's yeah, closing the door. So you've got blade floor, you got parry blade, you got show no mercy. I, I don't have an out with cold foil now, so. We got kind of two cold foil boxes. I think we pulled a two cold foil box. We did. We? we did. We did. We did. Cut the deck over the top. Wage gold. Okay, another color of wage gold, and that's it. We are on our bottom half of the box with Yanji leading. I, I don't even think we need to go to the tape. I'll, 
If, if I don't hit anything better than a Blade Flurry, I will willingly surrender. I think the, the Brute card is cool, but there's just no way. There's no way. There's no way Brute Demand... Oh, Knucklehead's a good card. Rising Power. Okay, Gold Mane. Yeah, there, there's no way a Brute card non-foil is... I mean, unless it's Cast Bones, right? Because Cast Bones... Oh, yeah, Cast, bo cast Bones is... Oh, that's that's, that's, that's one out. I'd have, to, I'd have to hit a Cast Bones at this point, I believe. Right? Hit a Legendary. Oh, not Rainbow Foil. Not Rainbow Foil Legendary. Okay, performance bonus. Although the card's cool. No value. I'm on Betsy and Send Packing. And Send Packing, yellow pitch. I just I just don't see it. It's a yellow pitch six, though. It's good. It's like a Command and Conquer. That's part of the reason why Brood is so good right now. You get they have like six Command and Conquers. Oh, is that is that standard in um in KO? Yeah. Alright, Rumble. Okay, lead with heart. And just a good old Rhino. Clash of Agility. Clash of Viger. Wage Agility. Good card. But, but, but. Oh, Ooh. oh. Graven Call. We have to look that one up, too. I think... It's not close. I would bet money that Blade Flurry is the winner. Oh, I just went through the rares. Foil down, but not out. Another Foil Rare. Uh, I don't know. Are we getting an abnormally high rare rate? Because usually it's four foil rares. So each gold, take the upper hand. Mighty wind up, and nothing. Did you pull a marvel? <laughs> I, I think I, I need to at this point. <laughs> All right. Got two rares stacked in your favor and down, but not out. Lead with heart. Foil common. Okay. Speed, okay, Fatal Engagement. I strongly dislike this card, but I might learn to like it when I use it against somebody. Ball Breaker. Oh, Seduce Secrets, although it's not valuable. It's at least a second Foil Majestic in the box. Yeah. Promising, promising. We're down to Last Pack Magic, and it's pri definitely, presumably, worth less than Show No Mercy. So, yeah. Yandri's leading in every department. Wage Might. Uh A and B, Assault and Battery. Last Pack Magic. For the win and the ability to take a Chuck Norris fist to the face. Let's see. Clash of Vigor. Oh, Colossal Bearing. And, and, lead with speed. Good card. <laughs> Bad result. We're giving Yanji the W. All right. It's late February. We'll, we'll check after the video, but I I'm giving him the W. So, the hits. That's like kind of a medium box, I would say. Yeah. I'd say, but I noted that there's six uh, foil rares rather than four. Yeah. Right? So, it feels like uh, Heavy Hitters is escalating the uh, amount of awesome cards. A little higher. There's seven Majestics, right? Yeah. Graven Call, Blade Fury, Sen Packing. Even Bet Big is not, not so bad, right? Are they getting the two? These are like two pretty good Majestics to get. Yeah, and we'll, we'll check on Graven Call later. You guys can tell us in the comments yeah. when, you, when you see it, right? And then the foil majestics, we got yeah. two of them, mm -hmm. right? Seduce Secrets is probably worth a couple bucks in foil. Show no mercy. Solid. And then last but not least, hey, at least it's a rare playable foil, right? You, you could see this getting play, right? An extra two block when defending a weapon attack, right? Yeah, if, uh, I mean, if, if it comes down to really grindy games, mm -hmm and your opponent is attacking with a weapon at the end of the game, then, you know, carry blade's not too bad. Yeah, get the two extra life, right? So, there it is. That's box one. I um, think we could do this. Yanji, you've won the ability to open this. Sleeves ready. We, we need some big, big semi-rigid energy here for the season two. Come on now. AOW. AOW. Let's make this a spicy hit. Spicy hit. Spicy hit, ready, 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 ready. Oh, that's good, that's good. That's our first fate for scene. The centering is noise. The corner, uh, the edges, but you know what? This is still submittable with for such a valuable hit. This is going in a semi, a big semi-rigid. So we got, we got some good semi-rigid energy here. <laughs>
That's my first Fate Foreseen cold foil. I would say just slightly less in demand than Sink Below, but still a very, very strong card, very strong card. Put this down here. Great. All right, we're on box two. We're on box two, moving right along. All right, I'll take the left clicks this time. Let's switch it up. Switch it up. There's nothing on the line. We're just, we're just opening up this, this box, hoping to get something better than a parry blade. And we have agility again. Fat call, command respect, and that's it. Oh, did something poke out? No. Did you see something? I didn't see anything. If you see something, say something. <laughs> Good time, Chapeau. Awesome, awesome. Oh, draw swords. Huh. Oh, yeah. Victor Goldmane. Womp womp. Well, you got it's it's worth a buck or two, right? Probably. That's the only way to get the uh, big boy heroes, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, I think they were also giving away rainbow foil versions at uh, it's either the calling or or pre-release event. I don't remember. There, there, there are rainbow foils. Okay. So I'm saying that's the traditional way to get it on the box. Yeah, right? I agree. In the majestic slots, I still think it's a better move than just making adult heroes tokens because you don't need that many. There's not that much. Ooh, Ooh. So that's a big one. See, if we were competing, Yanji would probably win again. <laughs> there you go, he's hit both M's. He just knows which side to pick. Oh, I, we switched it up? No, no, you just know which side to pick. That's what I'm saying. It's a 50-50. It's a 50-50, but you always you always pull the spice, and that's that's a good thing. I always pick the 50. <laughs> the right 50. Oh, this time it was the left 50. Oh, well, yes, the left 50. That's still right. It's, it's the right side. The, <laughs> the correct side. Okay. Vigorous engagement. What's with these Japanese packs, man? My lord. Ugh. Yeah, the paper packs are much easier to pull, but I guess the upside is that you don't get, like, the little dust. Yeah. I like the little pixie dust. It's, it's fine. Ooh, standing order. Oh, that's... I Used think. to be. And it's not oh, cast not bones. Anymore. It went down. It went down, yeah. Oh, it's like a $6 card now, so... Yeah, you, you still you still got the winner, but I, I still think it's a nice card. I still think it's dynamic. It's a nice generic. Yeah, so uh, Crown of Seas is too powerful. It's a similar type of effect. Yep. Beast mode. Voyage gold. Okay. Cut the deck. And that's it. How's, how are these cards, these Smashback, Illhorns, and these type of cards, are they seeing play or they're, they're too weak? Mm, they're they too are less... seeing play. I think the jury's still out on whether or not they're good. Oh, really? You definitely don't want to play them in KO because it's not a six. Oh, that's fair. But I've seen people play them in Leviah and Renar. Oh, really? Yeah. And I, I think you could play... Uh, like the alcohol card in like Dorinthia, potentially. Ooh, Ooh, a reckless charge. Is that wait? That's a bad one though, right? Yeah, it's not. A that's the the crappy fake scabskin leathers, right? Yeah. Yes, this is a card I will continue to hate on until something changes, and I don't I don't think that card's gonna change. I don't think you said something that you were joking around about reverse power creep, and maybe one day it'll be, you know, all the craze. Yeah, but people just love rolling dice. I, I I don't I don't think so. Okay, yes, yes, I, I, I see that part. That might see its way into a deck for the purpose... Oh, 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 oh! Sonata Galaxia. That doesn't beat a cast bones, but this is worth a couple bucks, right? Nice little... Expansion little slot, a little bit of value, yep. Okay, yeah, Yandri still wins with the cast bones. This is hands down the best Majestic right now, right? Um... Because of two, two Brutes, two Brutes using it, dual Brute action. Yeah, I think mostly it's just Kea that's playing cast bones. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's hard for the other brutes to get the to um, fight. the six count mm -hmm. high enough. But yeah, there's, there's some majestics in here, but we're also digging for more than just the cast bones. But the cast bones is responsible for like a third of a box worth of value, right? I think so. Down but not out. Rawhide rumble. I think last I checked it was like twenty four. Twenty four. Okay. Um, but I haven't checked in a, a bit. Rumble. Okay. Pint. All right. Come on now. Where's the beef? I, I don't want to just keep pulling bullshit this whole time. And I pull bullshit. 
Leave of power. Damn it. All right, four packs left. It's not as fun when you're not pulling stuff, you know what I mean? Oh, there's, stu there's still stuff to pull. There's still stuff to pull. Like the cold flow, which is probably hitting right now, knowing your luck. Right there. Next card. Cold foil. No, no, no. No, no cold foil. No. You got it. You got it. Yeah. All right. All right. It would be nice to see a cold foil legendary, too. We haven't pulled one of those oh, yet. Oh, true. We've, we've pulled legendaries, but not the cold foil legendary. Oh, Tide of Battle. That's a deceptively powerful card, I think. Really? Yeah, because, like, if you imagine, like, in Dorinthia, you can play, like, Glintha Quicksilver. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they don't let you draw in, but it's still, like, you want to play for the go again. Yeah. This one, you can, like, get two go agains. Oh, really? Yeah, because it gives you go again, mm -hmm. but then if you hit, you get an agility token. Mm -hmm. so it's like another go again. Oh, for the next turn. Yeah. I see what you're saying. So you're saying it's deceptively powerful. Yeah, okay. I think so. And it's yellow, so you could just throw that into, for example, a Kasai, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Some decent warrior tech. So you're saying it could find its way into meta? Yeah, I think potentially. I think there's a lot of cards in Heavy Hitters that are like that. Like, maybe that it's not, like, the big dollar Majestic, but it's, it's still pretty good. It's like a Workhorse Majestic? Yeah. That'll find its way into play? Yeah. Gage Swift. Oh! Ah! Uh, boo! You got the Cold Foil. I got the Cold Foil. <laughs> You're breaking my balls, man. <laughs> breaking my balls. All right, I got the Cold Foil. Definitely doesn't beat a Fate for Scene. Doesn't beat the Cast Bones. We'll see. There should be more value in this case. I'm, I'm very... I'm, I'm very hopeful that, you know, cases all even out. I mean, yes, there are bad cases, but cases should even out in value in the end. Vigorous wind up. Ugh, still awkward. Still not used to Japanese. All right. Well dried. What else? Switch might. Vigor girth. Wall of meat and muscle. Okay, Brute Guardian Block. Attack action card on top of your deck. Okay, Rawhide Grumble. Okay, Fatal Engagement. And that's it. Oof. It's a little slim. Slim value here. All right, you just gotta believe. Saying we need good vibes yep, for the, yep, for yep. the close. I, I, will, I will try. I will try with my last pack. I'll believe in Yanji's luck, though. I think he's gonna pull something crazy in the close. Because this is my last pack, and after this... It's a curtain call. Wait, wait. Cut the deck, down but not out. Lead with speed, and, and, and... Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Typical Saint opening. All right. Close it out with something. Please. Here's here's some some lucky sleeve energy. Let, let's go. Let's go. Beast mode. Money where your mouth is. And, and... B. Oof. Oof. All right, just to review... Just to review, uh, there were six, how many, how, how's the raws going? Ah, uh, see, this is a little more, yep, five rainbow foil rares. Let's see, the uh, non-foil majestics was blade flurry. We've got six non-foil majestics, right? Mm -hmm. We've got one really bad uh, foil majestic, and we've got a ball breaker. So this was literally the ball breaker of boxes. Yeah. This... This came with its own own Chuck Norris fist, this <laughs> box of heavy hitters. But we did hit the fate for scene in our judge pack, so yeah. very, very happy and, uh, you know, thankful for that. That was, that provided a little bit of, uh, whew, a little bit of respite from uh, the onslaught of uh, Chuck Norris fists. And, uh, yeah, uh, that's it for now. Hope to uh, open up a couple more boxes in a coming episode of Fabled Hunters. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, twill that notification button, support us on Patreon, and uh, support the Runaways, everybody. Let's go, Runaways! And we'll see you next time, guys. Bye! Bye.